done. We've got to adjust it now. It's really low. I'll bring, I'll bring that end up. So that was so quick and so easy. Just to hang them between the trees, clip it in, and it's, it just feels so solid. I can't fault it. I really can't fault it. To me, that's got it in the wrong place. It's not high enough. I'll bring these straps up a bit higher. I'll get that a bit higher off the ground. It's just simply just to show you how quick and easy it is to get it up. Because you've got to work out your distances and all that, you know what I mean? You'll be alright with that. That's fine. It feels good, it feels comfortable already. Now, that's it up with the, uh, the two bungees in now. See what I mean about the spread about. This wind is making life really difficult. I'm gonna get it to sit properly. Being in it, it's all right. I'll get in, because the wind's just yeah, I want to get my mat in and oh. So, when you're in, it's huge. It's a double, double size. The zip shut. Put all this space here. That's where it needs the spreader bar. It's not too bad. It's absolutely huge. It's, it's double the size of the normal hammock, which is good. A lot of space. Some good features. One of the features is this is the stuff sack. This is the actual bag it came in. So you can put your, some bits and bobs in there. Oh, it's a, it's a nightmare with the wind, but you see what it was like. So we're gonna look at that man. <laughs> it's not ideal. Take it off. Where's it going? The other side of it. That's how it should hang like that. Get the top over it, it should be alright. So look at some of the features. Well I can still So when you get it at the last point, first time use like I've got to tie the guy lines on. Done yet. So I'll do that. There's a big knot of guy lines there. Loads of them. So I'll get these tied on and then we'll come back and see what it looks like. Well, the sun's heading down now over there through the trees. Got the tarp up. It's a rough and right, actually. Uh, you can have it in a diamond pattern as well, but I put it that way because of the wind on the other side. So I'll have the diamond pattern, that wind will just come underneath it. I want the wind to stop swinging the hammock, which is done. It's done the trick. So it's good now you have different configurations anyway. You can have a diamond, you can have it that way. I think that's called pent, pent shadow. I don't know. Yeah, but that's uh, that's my bed for the night. If it does rain, I'll just pull this back and slide the top back over. I'd rather not have the top, but I like the I like to sleep without the top. But you know, when it's windy. That's just a good little good little shelter. Strong, well made, reinforced bits there. Nice material. Underneath, if I can get under, hold on, I'll just go around. I've got these skylines tied. If I can see underneath here. It's like a 
a shiny polyester material, PU coated. I'm assuming that's the waterproof part of it. It actually does feel very waterproof. You know when something feels waterproof? The, the tie out points are good. The only thing it didn't come with the ridge line. East Hills, you need to put a ridge line in. If you're gonna have a top, you need a ridge line. Just luckily I had one. Otherwise I'd be going home. <laughs> so it's all right. That's it. That's it. It's starting to get chilly now. Oh, so what I'm going to do is put the kettle on and get myself a little brew. Light me a little stove up just to get a bit of warmth. Sketchy as anything here. All these bloody shotgun sounds coming from over there. There's loads of smoke. I've got all that grass on fire. It stinks. I can smell it's burning grass. Ugh. It's a bit, um, it's a bit strong. They can't shoot around here. This is this is public area. This you can walk through these woods. Dog walkers come in here and everything. So they need to stop shooting. If I get shot. Just want to put the video up. Right, got another one of these. 250 in Morrison's at the minute. Kenco Duo. Nice. Look at this. Water boiled. Just sit and chill out. For a bit. And all the traffic. Yeah, so I don't know how it's going to work. Give me like a review video of the hammock setup and just a normal camping video. So, two videos. And put some of the um, the review footage in the normal video when we change it a bit, edit it, speed it up, whatever. Um, yeah, I just fancy to just camp, missed me camping this weekend, so here I am. <laughs> Coming a good time. Hammock came the other day, good delivery, quick delivery. East Hills seem quite a good company. Not sure if they're American or not. Seem good though. I mean, that's a great setup. But what you get in there for the money is unreal. Apart from the ridge line, you need a ridge line. Yeah, the sun's gone down now. I see, see the chill. I've put my buffalo coat on. It's getting cold. It's always a good shot in it. Loads of mushrooms of death in here. These monkeys' helmets. What's the size of it? A cluster of a cluster of Patagonian parasol embryosms. There's a lot of weasels' nipsies. These. I think this is the. Hedgehog mushroom, isn't it? The weasel's nipsy. <laughs> I've just destroyed that. Could have eaten it. I'm not confident enough to eat them. Oh, there's my little setup. It's nice, just coming out. Like I say, I've got it on a a slidey light so if it does rain i can shift it along just shovel it along a bit oh 
I think you've got to get your spacings between the trees right for the top. You've got no problems with the hammock. That hammock will go. God, there's a huge gap you can put between the trees there. I could probably have the tree on that tree there, to be fair. Maybe. Maybe that strap and the other one would reach to that tree. Maybe. But it's better to have it here because you've got to tie your top to it. So I would suggest putting your top up first, but I just wanted to show the hammock off. Right. Continue with my cup of coffee. Then I'm going to go and sit and have a bit swing. Bush box on. Nearly singed me muff. I need a uh, light. I need like a studio light to put up. Well, I've had a bit of a nightmare. Um, the battery ran out for the GoPro. I nearly singed me muff as well. And I've brought the power pack. But I haven't brought the lead for the, oh, the spare battery. Damn, I knew I'd forgot something. Not the end of the world. It's just a bit of a bit of a shame because the stars are coming out, so I wanted to do a night lapse, so it would have been quite good. Ah, oh, man, not to worry. I've got my little bush box on at the minute, just to get some heat. I've got all this damp, damp down around here, underneath the stones, all damp down with the water. So it's all damp, and I'll, uh, I'll make sure I wet it down again when I've finished. I'm just putting a few twigs, and I'm going to put my pasta sauce on. There's the there's my view. Not bad. It's a nice night. It's nice and still. It's not that cold. So, yeah, it's alright. Apart from that mini disaster of forgetting the battery. Damn. Here I am. Swinging in the hammock. It's lovely, it's lovely just to swing. It's very peaceful. You can't get an idea that I'm actually swinging here. But I am. Ah, just listening to the noises. The flight path's busy again. And uh, every little creak and groan. If you're not used to camping in the woods on your own, it's a strange place to be. It's a very strange place to be. Uh, can't focus. Because hey, you jump at every little noise. There's loads of little lights all over. I mean, we're just, I think I'm about two, two or three miles from my house, but it's all, all on the way here. I think over there, you can't see this, is uh, houses and the road and all that. It's not, it's not right in the middle of nowhere. It's not the wild. But you know, you don't know who's creeping about there. Crackers like me. <laughs> so I think, unfortunately, I can't do that night lapse, which is a real sick night because it's the only clear night this week. Ah, I can't believe I forgot that battery. What a nightmare. What a fool. Anyway, so... Unless anything happens between now and the morning, I think that's about it. I'm going to put the radio on, catch up on Craig Charles from Saturday. Neat. This is basically where I had the fire. A little bush box. See, compared to the rest of the forest floor. Put some water on it. Felt it with my hand. Stone cold, like. There was no, uh, no scorched earth, just a few little bits of ash. And that's all gone now. So, just leave it the way you found it. Or oh, better if you can. This is, this is actually where I was kneeling. I've made more mess where I was sitting. Oh, you can't see. 
anything on that fire now. That's good. Now I'm going to turn in. Be back to the future bike. <laughs> Tron. I'm going to get in. It's lovely. There's no condensation on it. Wind's died off. That's good. That feels nice, man. Dry as a bone. I've just been merrily sitting hanging in my hammock. Oh, my twigs have come off. Let's put this back over. I don't need two hands for that. Anyway, I'm going to get back in. Don't be nice coziness. It is cold out, but it's warm in there. Yeah. If it does rain, it's not forecast, but everything's covered. There's another top. So, we'll say good night till tomorrow. And it's such a shame. I think the stars are gone in a bit. It's a bit cloud come over. I don't feel so bad about it now. Morning camp, it's hidey high now, nothing zero as such, no things, there's a out, nothing. Rain, it's raining, which is great. Ah, oh, that's just the landscape mat, can't twist it. Oh, what a night. Toss and turn. Oh, tossing and turning. Uh, comfortable. But I think I need to, uh, not have it so high, I think. Put the, the straps on the trees, a bit lower. That'll be better. All right, I'm gonna get up, get packed, and get off. I've gotta go to work. I've gotta pedal home in all the rain. Oh no, I get soaked. Anyway, yeah, like, everything dries, doesn't it? It all dries, eventually. All right, here we go. Just trees of death. Out. Nil. Well, I've got the hammock down. It didn't take long. Let's get it untied. Let's get the knots untied. Just come straight down. Rain's off for a second, but look, it is waterproof. It's very waterproof. It's not a drop got in there, like, which you'd expect, to be fair. So I've just got to um, take this tarp down, put it in the back of there, and then we're off into the gloom. Find me way up through there somehow, and then. So up there to the broken tree, down to the exit. <laughs> and get lost again, walk around for half an hour. Yeah, but let's say, unless anything amazing happens, we'll just leave it there. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another episode next week. Just come back this way. Would you know where to go? And there, we've been there, we've been there. Do you know where to go? You've got to be very, very careful in woods. It's so easy to get lost. That's just my little posted script, right? I'm heading down there and then out that corner. I've seen a few little way markers, so that's the thing. So if you see like a broken tree, remember all oh, the broken trees on the left? There's a plantation of mushrooms. There's actually a big ditch here which you cross, which I remember coming up. Just things like that. You've got to just beware. It's so easy to get lost. Right, here we go. We'll see you next week. Good video coming up from Saturday. It should be a good camp on Saturday.